Hello boys and girls, it is time for a writer's workshop. This is Miss Alpine here, and today we're going to continue talking about informative writing, and we're going to be looking again at how-to essays, but we're going to focus on the body paragraph and how we can explain the basic steps in a process of a how-to and put that into paragraph writing. So we remember, of course, that a how-to explains what something or how something works or how to do something. In their how-to essays, we need to list the steps and make sure they're easy to follow. We want to include all the materials that would be needed to do this process. We're going to use time order words like first, next, then, and finally. And of course, we want to use some facts, definitions, and extra details that really explain all the steps of what we are trying to teach the reader how to do. As informative writers, we've already chosen some topics we're interested in. We started organizing our ideas. We've considered our audience and the purpose for our writing. And when we go into write, we're gonna think about what kind of vocabulary is just right, what words we wanna use that's just right for the topic that we're discussing. And we're, of course, we're gonna add in some facts that are accurate and correct. Now today we're gonna to be focusing on our drafting in our process writing. And remember, this is part of the trait of organization. So when we go to draft, we really want to still think about how are we organizing our writing to make sure that when we write it in complete sentences, it makes sense to the reader. So as I said, we're focusing on the body paragraph of our informative how-to. We've already talked about our introductions and the basic pieces with the hook, background, and main idea. And this would be our next paragraph. Now remember, the body paragraph is the biggest paragraph because it's going to have the most information. This is what we will be talking about for most of the essay. And so in this body paragraph, we're going to make sure that we include, of course, the three basic steps of what we're teaching the reader how to do. So let's take a look and watch this video that explains a little bit more of what we want to include in our body paragraph. How to writing. Episode 3, Writing Steps. We write how-to writing to teach others. I am writing how to grow a plant. I've already written an introduction where I hooked the reader, introduced the topic, and listed the materials needed. Now I'm ready to write the steps. My steps should tell the reader what to do in order. It should also include pictures that help teach the reader. And there should be transition words like first, next, then, and last. Step one. First, you should fill your flower pot with soil. Step two. Next, put a few seeds into the soil. Step three. Then, sprinkle water into the pot. Step four. Last, put the pot in the sun and wait for your plant to grow. I told the steps in order, added pictures, and used transition words. Watch episode four to see how I revise my steps to make them even better. Okay, so I know in the video she said she added pictures. We're not going to add actual pictures, but we are hoping that eventually we add enough detail that the reader can imagine it and picture what they're doing in or what you're explaining them, um, explaining how to do in their mind. So just to recap, in your body paragraph, we're going to look right here in these yellow boxes, and we're going to make sure that we include for every step some type of transition. Then we're going to explain the step, and then we're going to expand and explain more with some facts and details. Then we're gonna get into step two with a transition, explain the step, and give some more facts and details. And then finally, transition into step three, and then give more explanation and details. So in our expert example here, everything that's highlighted in yellow is their body paragraph, and it explains all the steps into how to make Play-Doh. But this writer didn't start here. Remember, this is their final draft. The way that this writer began is they did this circle map. So we've already talked about a circle map and how we can use this to just get our ideas from our head down on paper or in our computer. 
And so this was the circle map that that author, his name is Mitchell, what he created first. And so remember, the topic went in the middle, how to make Play-Doh. And then he thought about all the materials he would need and listed those. Then he went in and said, well, what are the three basic steps? Well, I need to get the materials together, mix ingredients and heat it in a pot, um, and then take it out and knead the dough and put it in a bag. So these were the three basic steps that he said was most important. And then finally, he also added some facts and some tips that he remembered he, need, he wanted to include when he went to explain this how-to process. So what he did is he took this and then he went and thought about his graphic organizer and said, well, I know I need to have three basic steps. And just real fast, I wanted to explain to you, all these colors that you see, I do these colors on purpose. The green is our basically is our topic. It's like, think about like a green light. That means, okay, this is it, I'm ready to go. And the yellow means, hey, let's slow down and give some details. So this yellow means, hey, slow it down. And now tell us what you really want us to know. And so he said, well, I'm gonna talk about the three steps here in my body paragraph. And step one, he took here, get the materials together. And he put that in a complete sentence. He says, to make Play-Doh at home, you will first need to get all your materials together. All right, then step two, remember here, he just put mix ingredients and heat. But he said, well, I need to put that in complete sentence. And so step two, he says, next, you will need to stir all the ingredients into a pot and heat it on a stove. All right, and then he went to step three. These were his notes that he put on his map. And he said, I have to put that into a sentence. And so he put step three, last, you will need to remove the dough from the pot and knead it until it's soft enough to put in a container to cool off and store. So again, this author took the, the basic information he had in his circle map and then went to go put it in complete sentences in the graphic organizer so he now can go and write his draft for the body. And then this is what he created as his draft. So he just basically took his sentences that he wrote here in the organizer and made it one solid paragraph. Okay, so what your assignment is for today, you're going to be doing something similar. You are going to be doing your own circle map again, but this time look at the topic. You're going to be doing a circle map for how to brush your teeth. And I really hope we all know how to brush our teeth, right? We should be doing it at least once a day, probably multiple times a day. And the first thing I want you to think about and do is just list. You're going to click here under materials, and you're going to list all the materials that you would need to brush your teeth. Then come down here and think about the three steps. And don't leave anything out. Pretend maybe you're, I'm an alien or your teacher's an alien, and we've never brushed our teeth in our lives. Ah! What would the first step be to brushing your teeth? What would the second step be? And what would the third step be? And remember, in your circle map, this doesn't have to be complete sentences. Just jot down your ideas. And then finally, if you have any extra facts or tips that you want us to know, type that in here. Maybe you like a certain brand of toothpaste, or maybe you have a certain time limit that you use when you're brushing your teeth, or maybe you have a certain like way you brush your teeth. Maybe you do circle motions or up and down. So you can add those facts and tips right here. Once you've completed the circle map, now you're gonna go in and you're gonna take the ideas from steps one, two, and three, and you're gonna put that into complete sentences down here in this box. And so you're gonna just click and you're gonna type, what is your first step in a complete sentence, the second step in complete sentence, and the third step to brushing your teeth in a complete sentence. And what we would do later is, of course, put this into just whole paragraph form. But your task for today is just to write those three sentences, one for each step of how to brush your teeth. All right, let's go be writers. <laughs>